going on YouTube? All right, in this short little video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the oil on this Tahoe. Um, this is an O2 Tahoe, it's got a 5.3 liter. Um, so yeah, it, this video is just basically for anybody that's probably never changed oil before. Um, it's actually really quite simple. Um, I'm just gonna show you how simple it is to do on this vehicle. So literally the only thing that you will need is right here. You gotta have your new oil, your oil filter, um, get you a socket and a socket wrench, which this one happens to be 13 millimeters. However, this is an aftermarket uh, plug that we got in here. Uh, this truck does have 271,000 miles on it, so I'm not surprised it has an aftermarket plug in it. And then uh, something to catch the oil with. An oil pan is preferred. Uh, you can go out to any AutoZone or Advanced Auto and pick up one of these for about 15 bucks. So without any further ado here we go i will put this underneath the truck and we will show you what to do all right Normally, you could just break this and then we take the cap out of here. Like that. And then just. Make sure you aim it. Boom. You just let that drain. Alright. Once that's done draining out, um, put the plug back in and get it hand tight. After that, we gotta take the filter out. So mine's right here, and you'll see here in a second. Um, for different cars, we'll be in different places. Um, but for the Tahoe, Silverado, Sierra, Yukons, um, basically any GM truck, it's going to be about right here. So I just got to... Uh, should be hand tight. I just got to grip on mine. Now, when it comes to priming or um, putting your new oil filter in, so for this Tahoe, I want the extended life uh, STP filter. Um, I always use STP on all of my vehicles. I just think it's the better one, AutoZone. Um, so some people say you should prime your oil filter, which is basically take a quart like this and dump it in here before you install it back up onto the engine. 
Um, other people just say, don't put it in dry. I'm one of those people, I was brought up putting it in dry. I put them in dry on all of my vehicles I've ever had and they all turned out okay. So one thing that you should do, whether you're priming it or if you're putting it up in dry, is to get a little bit of oil here on your finger, like so, right? And then what you'll wanna do is you take the filter and rub it on the top here. This is gonna help it not stick to the engine uh, when you take it off on your next oil change. That's easy. Also, when you're removing the filter off of your engine, um, like you just saw me do, make sure when the filter comes out that this little gasket right here, you can see it right here, comes off with. Because if it doesn't, and you put the new one on, you're just gonna have a gasket on a gasket, and then oil's just gonna fly everywhere when you start your engine. So make sure you do that. Now that we've got that out of the way, here comes the easiest part, dumping the oil into the engine. Um, for You will get very messy on this job. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean this up. Don't ever do that to a vehicle you care about, taking an oily rag and rubbing on the paint. Like I said, this thing has 270,000 miles, so I really don't give a shit, but don't do that on a regular one. Uh, okay, so you're going to take the oil, and then right here... is the oil cap. You just unscrew this. Mine gets stuck very easily. Uh, there we go. And then you just dump it in. Now I am going to use both hands to dump this in. Let you sit up here on the engine. So a GM 5.3 liter takes six gallons, or six gallons, six quarts, <laughs> six gallons. So that's how you're gonna fill her up. Best way to do this is to get a funnel Otherwise, you're gonna spill oil everywhere. Kinda like I did. Yeah. Oh well.
All right, here, we gotta go ahead and reset the um, change engine oil light. So the way you do that is once you get in the car, take your key, all right, and turn it on to run. Do not actually turn the car on, but turn it to run. When it does that, press the gas pedal three times within five seconds. So one, two, three. When it does that, the check engine oil light should blink for five seconds. And then turn off. Okay, then you turn the engine on. She's on. And now it's still blinking. If it still blinks, you just do the whole process over again. I'm gonna let mine run for a second, so you go ahead and um, get the oil circulating, which is what you should do. Um, yep, so this is how you change the oil on a 2002 Tahoe. Um, if you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what I could do next because this Tahoe um, with the being as old as it is is kind of more of my project vehicle than my Challenger. Uh, my Challenger is kind of like my baby, you know. Um, I care what happens to that car. I really do not give a crap what happens to this truck. So drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, thanks for tuning in.